Hello, good morning friends. Welcome back to your favorite channel Code One Digest. Today in this tutorial we will learn access token design pattern for microservices. Yes friend, I'll explain what is access token design pattern, where to use it and what are the advantages of this design pattern. I will also give you the real world example of this design pattern. So stay tuned and watch this tutorial till end. It is going to be very very exciting and informative video for you. There is a lot of learning involved in this tutorial. Friends, in the previous video, we discussed about retry design pattern. Can you explain what is retry design pattern for microservices? Provide your answer in the comment section of this video. If you have not seen that video, so please go and watch the video on retry design pattern. The link is given on your screen and also given in the description section of this video. For more information, go and watch the previous video on Code One Digest channel. There's no agenda here. Friends, here is the agenda for this tutorial today. I will give you the introduction of access token design pattern. Then I'll explain you what is JWT token, what is the structure of JWT token, why do we use it. Then I'll show you the real world example of access token design pattern. Then we'll understand the benefits of access token design pattern. And later I'll summarize what we learn in this tutorial. So stay tuned and watch this video till end. It is going to be very, very exciting and informative tutorial today. Friends, before we proceed in this video, I request you to subscribe this channel to grow Code One Digest family. Friends, I am creating a lot of quality videos on programming, coding concepts, design pattern and design principles, cloud and container technologies, but I'm not getting subscribers. I request you to like, share and subscribe this channel so that I can grow a Code One Digest family. Thank you. Okay friends, so now let's start with the access token design pattern for microservices. Access token pattern is to validate the identity of a caller. Caller service or application sends access token in the request header to the calling service. API gateway of the calling service validates the token and check the identity of the caller. API gateway will allow request only if access token is valid. JWT token or access token design pattern is based on OAuth 2 standard. OpenID Connect added the federated identity on top of OAuth 2 in 2014. OAuth 2 and OpenID Connect together offers a standard specification for identity providers. Oh, pretty wow! Friends, let's understand what is JWT token or JSON Web Token. JWT is an open standard RFC 7519 that defines a mechanism for securely transmitting information between two parties. The JWT token is a signed JSON object that contains a list of claims which allow the receiver to validate the sender's identity. The purpose of JWT token is for the stateless authentication mechanism. Stateless authentication stores the user session on the client side. Really? I... As shown in the diagram, friends, the client sends the request to server with the credentials to request the access token. The user sends the credential once and get the access token. And authentication server respond back with the access token. Then all further request to API service is through access token and in not to share the actual credentials. The API server validates the access token with the help of authentication server or authorization server and make sure that token is valid and not expired and having a right claims in it. If the token is valid, then API service will fulfill the request. Wow, that's amazing. Friends, let's understand the structure of JWT token. The JSON web token is composed of three parts separated by Periods. The header contains the algorithm used for signing the token. The payload section contains the session data that also refer as claims. There are two types of claims. One is reserved claim and custom claim. The JWT specification defines the reserved claims that are recommended to use while generating the JWT token. And third is signature. The signature is the most critical part. Signature is calculated by encoding the header 
and the payload using base 64 encoded. Then the encoded 64 is signed using a secret key and cryptographic algorithm specified in the header section. The signature is used to verify the token has not changed or modified. What the hell are you talking about? Let's see the structure of JWT token. As I said, JWT has a three part separated by a period, separated by a dot. If you see on the, your left hand side in the, in the image where we have three different parts of the token separated by a dot or a period. Then in the token, we have header which contains the algorithm. That algorithm is used to sign the token. Payload section contains the actual data, actual claims that we are sending, that we are transmitting in the, between the parties. And the last section is the signature. The signature is important. It is validated and make sure that ensure that the token is not altered on the way. Right, friends? Oh, wow. That is really, that's amazing. Okay, friends. Let's understand how access token pattern works. So in this setup, we always have an authorization server. The responsibility of authorization server is to issue a token. So in this diagram, if you see, the user opens a front-end UI and wants to log in into application. The front-end application redirects the user to a auth server. As soon as the request reaches to the auth server, auth server displays a login page to a user. Now user enters the credential. If the credentials are fine, then auth server will send the authorization code to a front-end and it will retrieve a token from the auth server. And this will end the process. This will complete the process of authentication. Then user can successfully access all the functionalities. The user will be considered as a logged in user. Similar flows you would have seen when we do a social login. Like most of the e-commerce sites, most of the, your shopping sites allows you to log in through your social logins like Facebook or Google login. That works exactly on the same concept of OAuth 2 based authentication, JWT based authentication, where your identity is used from those social sites that becomes your federated identity server, identity provider, and that becomes your authorization server. Your e-commerce sites sends a request to authorization server, that is social server for the authentication. User enters the social credentials on successful authentication on a social site, that authorization server sends a token back to your e-commerce site and tells, yes, this is an authenticated user, so you can trust the user. On receiving the token from social site, e-commerce sites consider you as a logged in user. Right, friends? What? I can, I, I do, I do not understand. Let's understand the access token design pattern with another example. If you see in this example, we have different clients like e-commerce, customer portal or merchant portals. All of them wants to access the microservices like merchant service, customer service, bank service and so on. And access to these services are through API Gateway because API Gateway is only the channel, only the way to these services. All the services are running into their virtual private network. And API Gateway has defined all the endpoints to access these services. Now, it's the responsibility of API Gateway to define a policy and authenticate all the incoming requests. API Gateway will be integrating with the AuthDB. Now, this AuthDB can be any authentication provider, be it Cognito in AWS or any custom authentication server. The job of API Gateway is to authenticate the incoming request based on authentication server. All these clients, they first go to the authentication server and request for a token. On receiving a token from authentication server, they send the token in a header to API Gateway. On receiving the request, API Gateway takes the token out of the header and validate that token through authentication server. If API Gateway found the token is valid, then only it allows the request to go further to respective services. Right, friends?
So that is why the access tokens is so important in microservice architecture that helps in building the authentication and authorization mechanism between clients to microservices. Really? Okay, friends, now let's see some of the use cases of this design pattern. Use access token design pattern to solve security problem for your microservices. Use this pattern to achieve auth 2 based authentication and authorization. Use this pattern to achieve de facto security solution. This is the default security solution, the standard security solution as of today for microservices. Use this pattern to integrate with the federated identity provider like Facebook, Google, and so on. Okay, friends, now let's see some of the advantages of this design pattern. Access token design pattern helps you solving the security problem for your microservices. This design pattern provides you the OAuth 2 based authentication and authorization for your microservices. This design pattern is a standard security solution for your microservices. This pattern integrates with the federated identity provider like Facebook and Google. So you need not to maintain the identity of the customers. You can integrate with any custom identity providers and use that token for authentication and authorization. Friends, let me summarize what we learned in this tutorial today. I gave you introduction of access token design pattern. Then we understood the JWT token. What is JWT token? Then I also explain you the structure of JWT token. Then I shown you the real world example of JWT token or access token design pattern. Then I also explain you the advantages of access token design pattern. Right friends? Friends, so let me know if you have already used this design pattern in any of your project or seen a scenario where this pattern can be useful. Please provide your answer in the comment section of this video. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. Good plan. Good talk, all right?